My name is Captain Matthew George. I'm the commanding officer of Alpha Company 3rd Littoral Combat Team, 3rd MLR. Um, so today the primary focus of training was a non-live fire event um, that centered around classes taught um, by our Philippine Marine partners, um, primarily uh, their version of what would be our Marine Corps martial arts program. Um, they also led us through several iterations of jungle survival training and jungle mobility. So my specific role was to integrate uh, with my Philippine Marine counterpart, uh, company commander here, um, to bring uh, both my company and his company together um, to integrate our squad leaders and our non-commissioned officers um, so that we could make this event um, move seamlessly. And so in order to do that, um, we've had a couple of socials with them so far. Um, we've had meal engagements with them. Um, so it's given us an opportunity to really integrate um, and socialize uh, with the people that we're going to continue to be working with while we're out here. So this environment is absolutely unique um, and very challenging, um, both from a terrain perspective, from a weather perspective. Um, it is, it is um, absolutely uh, imperative that we get into environments like this um, in order to acclimate um, not only ourselves, but our equipment and really test our capabilities and limitations um, operating here um, so that we can enhance what we try to do in the future. Yes, yeah, so the training today, um, although light in nature, is absolutely imperative to developing uh, relationships that are um, not just going to last or expire now, but that are going to remain well into the foreseeable future. Uh, we anticipate that we will um, ultimately work with the same units um, as we come here again for further, for further exercises. Um, but they're the same, uh, there's the same Marine units um, and Armed Forces units of the Philippines that we may encounter um, in the future uh, in real world operations. So they're absolutely vital that we make those relationships now. So training this way, um, I think specifically meets commander's intent. Um, because we are out here to form relationships and strong bonds. And that is exactly what this exercise is about. Um, and that is at the heart of everything that we are trying to do here. We're capturing that specifically through small scale events that are non-live fire based, but also through live fire events where we get to learn and work with um, our Philippine Marine and Armed Forces partners day in and day out. And again, those are going to be the relationships that we'll carry forward and those are what are going to be absolutely integral um, to operating in the future. So Balakatan specifically gives uh, Marines the opportunity to operate in a live fire scenario that tests their independent capabilities, but it also gives them an opportunity to test their fire team, squad, platoon, and even company level capabilities. Um, here in the, uh, the live fire training area that we're currently occupying, um, but more importantly, it gives us the opportunity to test our equipment in, an, in, a, in a foreign country, in an area that is unfamiliar to us, um, an area that presents uh, unique challenges of its own due to terrain, due to weather, um, and then um, uh, a civilian populace that we uh, need to be able to integrate with um, and work with in order to be successful. Well, specifically, first and foremost, the Marines have had to adapt to the weather. Um, this is seasonably one of the hottest environments that many of them um, have ever had to operate in. Um, but two, um, the challenge to really just come out of their shell um, and be willing to work with and operate with uh, our, our Filipino Marine partners. That is not something that's easily done, but one thing I think our Marines have done um, is integrate with them in spades. Um, and it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's unique to see them uh, socializing with their counterparts, having meals with their counterparts, um, because that's, that then in turn translates into operability um, on training ranges and on the firing line. And that is ultimately um, the culmination of where you're seeing success out here. But that's going to pay dividends for, for future exercises and any real world operations in the future. To any potential adversary, I would want them to know that uh, A, we are here, we are present. But B, this is a, this is a team fight. Um, this is not an American fight. This is a, a team fight. And specifically, it is a team fight among us um, and our Philippine partners. And I would want them to know that we, uh, we are unified and we represent a lethal um, combined front. 
Um, and everything that we are doing out here, um, integration-wise, training-wise, all of the live fire, all of that uh, that we are doing, both ourselves, the Army, um, all of those elements are out here um, building that foundation. And it is a strong foundation that is joint, that is partnered. Um, and, and any adversary force needs to understand that, again, this is a, this is a combined fight um, that we would be willing to take into the future. Uh, none other than this is a, a phenomenal training area. This has been a tremendous opportunity uh, for the Marines to come out and operate in a different environment. It's been a uh, tremendous opportunity for them to combine and integrate uh, with a partner nation force. Many of these Marines may have one opportunity in their careers to do that. Um, so it's, uh, it is, it's absolutely amazing that we have the opportunity to have almost a dedicated month um, to spend with our partners and we're certainly looking forward to doing more exercises like this in the future.